are actually working inside of 3D Studio Max we've got the operators here the events, the nodes so I just want to say there are a lot of operators you can play with like all of these operators but I just can't explain them all because only this placement paint would already take like 15 minutes um, and that's only one of out of I don't know how many it are but um, so just be sure to play around with these be creative and you can go to the 3D Studio Max help file for some of these um, particles actually so um, close that right here and um, this actually looks pretty good doesn't it <laughs> it looks quite funny well um, anyway now we know something about the 3D Studio Max particles we now want to know how you can apply them in real life situations and in this case we're gonna create a 3D army so um, by the way you can use them for all kind of um, real life situations I mean the wide range of views for these particles is it's like unlimited you can create so many things with them including rain snow water and um, anyway let's just reset and we'll not save it no nope. yes and we want to create our 3d army right now so let's start okay so here we are in um, in 3d max in the new scene um, as you can see I've added a model and the model is actually called human knight I didn't create it myself um, you can see it's a really cool model um, so I didn't create it myself uh, all the respect and stuff they go to um, the person who actually made this model so um, in the example of um, this tutorial you can see the knights are actually posed differently so you can see the arms are actually um, you can see the arms are actually rotated towards his legs so that it looks like he's standing um, but in this example I won't be doing that because I need to rig and this tutorial is about particles not about rigging so um, let's start first of all these are uh, different objects so what we need to do is define all this as one object well that's very easy we can select them all go to group there's this little menu here uh, called group and then we call it none so now it's actually just one object um, next thing we can do is we can create a PF source and you can see the particles are just fallen that's not what we want because when these particles are eventually going to represent the knights the knights will just be falling and for some scenes that may be uh, what you want but for the scene we are going to create that is really not what we want so let's go into the particle view what we can see right here is that the particles are actually getting burned on frame zero and we already want the particles to be there so the length of our animation is 100 frames so what we can do is set the emit start to minus 100 and the emit stop to zero so um, you can't really see it right now but the particles are already there before the animation starts um, we actually want to uh, lock the particles on, uh, onto the emitter because we don't want the, the knights just falling what we can do is lock on emitter so now they'll just be there and we'll now have full uh, almost producible control about the animation we are going to create so the next thing we need to do is define the geometry for this particles as the night what we can do we first have the shape here when we render this out uh, let's go into the render settings <laughs> over 3k so let's make this um, something like this 
uh, when we render this out we can actually see all of these cubes being rendered and that's because the default shape is cube 3d so when we set this to this one we can actually see they're all uh, they're all having this shape so what we can do is drag a shape instance over the shape and it will just delete the shape and take over its place and what we can now define is the particle geometry object so when we click non and then we click on the group tonight um, the particles are actually being represented by the night so um, my computer is probably going to say this there is no memory available for the pf source to render there are too many faces for this scene so if you've got a really good computer or a render farm even of course um, the scene you can render out will be bigger so uh, what we can do is reduce the scale to 15 uh, 50 I'm sorry and we can set the amount of nights to something like 15 so that we've got 15 nights all around the scene and when we now hit uh, shift Q you can actually see them being rendered out and if you count them uh, it'll be 15 so we can now actually not see what we're doing so um, as you know uh, from the previous part of this tutorial we can go to um, display and set it to geometry so now we can actually see what we're doing um, we have two problems here the first one is that uh, they actually hit each other so when his arm is actually hitting his chest or something um, it won't bounce they will just um, go uh, inside of each other which gives a really strange effect uh, really unrealistic so we need to separate them but first of all we need to position them so what we can do is go to rotation and from this little menu here we can select world space and as you can see there now um, actually standing properly so here is the rotation when we rotate them on the z-axis you can actually see them rotated and when we define this which is actually the variation they will get um, uh, uh, the rotation will be actually variated on, on all the axes so when we restrict the variation uh, to one axis uh, the variation will be only applied to one axis and in some cases that might be handy because you want that randomness to make everything look realistic so now the first problem has been actually faced we now have got um, so now we've got the knights in the proper position I'm sorry for that little uh, skip right there because my computer kinda crashed and um, I've set up the scene um, which is basically identical to the scene uh, of the previous six minutes so um, never mind um, what we've got now is our army and when we render this out we can actually see the army already kind of formed and that's what we want so the first problem is now fixed the second problem is take a look at the arms right there that looks so unrealistic and that's not what we want so what we want to do is we want to be able to separate the knights so uh, that we can um, have control over uh, if the arms will uh, like hit each other or not so um, here's the thing what we're gonna do is we're gonna hide the selection so that we just got the default scene let's just close this and what we can do now is um, create standard primitive a plane so um, make it something like gray not pink I hate that color um, anyway when we go into wireframe mode which is um, which you can do by pressing F3 we can actually see that it has one two three four by four is sixteen uh, segments and which means that 
if we select one of those segments to be the position of a particle, we can um, only have 16 particles being uh, emitted on site uh, onto this plane. So what we can do is make the length sex something like 9 and then the width also 9. So um, when we make this 3, no, make this 6. Yeah, that was it. Make it six. So here's a really cool thing uh, we can do. When we now convert this to editable mesh, and we hit this little icon here, we can select polygons. And what we can now do is go into wireframe mode and select this one, and this one, uh, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. So um, if you want all the selected faces to be in the middle of the plane, um, you should be playing around with the length uh, segments and width uh, segments. Anyway, when we deselect the icon and then select it again, you can still they're still selected. So um, let's go back to in um, defil default mode. And what we can now do is um, deselect it and now go unhide all. So when we render this out, it's going to be a really ugly render because we can see the plane. So, here's the thing. Let's select the plane and drag it down a little bit. Yeah. So we can now go into the particle view. And here's the cool thing. When we go to position icon, we can actually so when we go into particle view right now what we can do is add position object and what we can do is make an object in the scene the emitter so what we can do is go to by list and select the plane 